Welcome to Team G503. I am your host Scott Schiller and in this video we'll be working on the bolt-ons inside the engine compartment on the firewall. We're coming right along on the disassembly of the 1943 Willis MB. We've still got a few things to take off though from the engine compartment. We've got the oil can holder that's there on the firewall. We've got our horn bracket. We've already disassembled and taken apart the horn. We've got our rear hood catches. We've got our bracket for our windshield and our thumb screw. And if you move down the side of the cowl here, we've got our eyelet screws for our safety straps. The windshield thumb screw is attached with a little safety chain here. Just simply unscrew that. Knock them off. And then we've got two bolts that penetrate through the inside underneath between the firewall and the dashboard. I'm simply reaching behind the dash here. I've got a wrench on there. Behind each, you've got a lock washer and a nut. The rear hood catch is fastened to the outside of the tub with a couple of bolts. They're slotted as flathead screws, and we've got a nut on the back. And we'll go ahead and we'll remove those. Remove the second screw, and off it comes. Very simple. And there that's removed, and we can unbolt this after the fact from the bracket. The oil can holder is fastened through the firewall. You have to reach underneath the underneath side with a wrench and then you can take these off with a socket or a wrench. These are a little bit more difficult to get at. And there's the oil can holder removed. The horn bracket is attached in a similar way. You've got two bolts that go right through the firewall, so you have to reach up underneath the inside of the dash under the cowl with a wrench, and you can remove these two bolts. And there's the horn bracket removed. Now if you'll notice here, I struggled a little bit with these bolts because I didn't put any PB blaster or any penetrant oil on them before I took them off and they were a little bit difficult, but there's a washer, a lock washer, and a nut oriented like this on the inside of the firewall here. Take a look at this eyelet for the safety strap. And if you notice here, there's a little lip that comes from the cowl onto the dashboard, and there's a little indent right there where the holes drilled through the dashboard where this eyelet goes through. So what I've got to do is get behind here and access the nut to remove the eyelet. I'll simply reach behind here with a wrench, and I'm using a extension for a half inch socket, and you can use wood or a doll, but just we'll give it a quick twist and get it started and then the rest of this should be able to be done by hand. Again, I've soaked these with PB Blaster, so we're gonna be able to remove it easily. So here we've got our safety strap eyelet. It's in great shape, and there's some really fantastic markings on there, which I'm pretty excited about. It's oriented through the dashboard as such, and we've got the fasteners. It's a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. We're on the passenger side, we've got the eyelet, and we've got our hood catch, and we've got our windshield bracket and thumb screw, and we'll be removing these. The only difference here is, is you've got to access the inside from the glove box. The only difference on the passenger side for the eyelet is you have to go inside the glove box 
to get at the nut and the fastener on the back side of that one. Reach right in here. The nuts are accessible for the windshield bracket on the passenger side inside the glove box as located there. Reaching inside the glove box. the bracket. The latch is fastened through the tub the same way as on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and take that off. In a previous Team G503 video when I disconnected the fuel line, I already emptied the fuel all out of the fuel filter. So I'm going to remove that from the firewall. And you've got these two bolts that are fastened through the firewall in the glove box area. We're inside the glove box area and you can see the back side there where the bolts are for the fuel filter. I'm going to use a flare nut wrench to remove this last fuel line. Got that disconnected. I'm going to remove the bolts that attach the fuel filter to the firewall. Once again, reaching inside the glove box. and remove the fuel filter. With the fuel filter gone, it'll be a lot easier to get the bolts that hold on the air filter bracket. Again, the back side where the nuts are, are inside the glove box, inside the firewall. Changing it up here just a little bit, using the socket on the inside, only because I couldn't get the long deep weld socket in between the bracket there. Move the bracket. On the left air cleaner bracket, you've got this little clip that holds your emergency brake cable in. And all it is really attached with is one simple bolt to the top. So we'll go ahead and remove that. After you remove the bolt, you've got the small bracket on top that holds the cable to the top of the air cleaner bracket. The bracket is mounted through the firewall with three nuts and bolts. And they're a little bit more difficult to get at than these were. That's only because you could go through the glove box. But I'll take you on the inside of the firewall and I'll show you where those are located. Underneath the dash in the inside of the firewall, you got your filterette there. That's where the bolts are located. With the windshield off, it's pretty easy to reach around the top of the cowl and get underneath here.
with this last bolt removed, just remove the other bracket. And you notice this one's a little bit different. It's got a cutout in it to go around where this wiring comes through the firewall. So with all those items being removed, we're getting closer and closer to being able to pull the tub. Still got some wiring issues to work on. Here's what we've removed. And I'll take those back to the other shop, get them all cleaned up and painted and ready for reinstall. Thank you for watching. If you like what we're doing, we're disassembling and reassembling a 1943 Willis MB, bolt by bolt, piece by piece. You can subscribe and follow us on YouTube. Team G503 on YouTube. Until next time, keep it safe and happy jeeping. Thank <laughs> you.